can get a close look at you. I need an exit, Bagley. The catacombs, fam. Go, go, go! your action in there, didn't you? Mountain. Very, uh, persuasive. He's certainly efficient and cold-blooded and fully committed to rolling out this Thamis project. Not good news.
do not like this at all. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Check that out. I'm kicking ass left and right. Dead sec is just like Sunday school. You wouldn't have been recruited if Dead sec thought you'd be killed that easily. Thank you, Bagley. I already knew that. But don't worry about Bagsy. You get used to his side commentary. Mad job, cuz. Oh, look at that. Yes. What? I suppose things could always be like this. I don't understand. Light upon light. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start the briefing whenever you're ready. Oh, mate, this is massive. I never thought we'd get this kind of reach. What do you mean? It's fucking Stormzy. You know, Bossy Bob, shut up. Bloody Glastonbury. The man sent us a message and he's asking for dead sec by name. We're in the big times now, mate. We got us a fucking high profile contract right here. Great. I'll send you the message. And for the love of fucking God, do not cock this up. What's good, dead sec? Here's the word, yeah. Sir's been after me for ages, blocking my channels, shutting down every stream I open, and closing my fucking bank accounts. I made my career calling out those in power, and now they want to stop me. I got this new track, it's crazy, and I'm going to lay it down right here, then we're sending it out worldwide, bigger than anything you've ever seen. But I need your help. Sir's know we're here. They killed our connection to the servers outside, and no servers means no show, and everyone needs to see what they're doing to us in London. Treating us like savages, like cannon fodder. Fuck that. Let's do this together. Fuck. We've got movement back here. Shit. All right, let's roll. You heard, Mr. Ormsey. Dead Tech has a role to play in this. Now backdoor Albion's servers, and let's get this illegal show on the road. Hello. How's it going? I was wondering, do you think Sky Larson is alive? 
What do you mean? I mean, she's not alive in body, but that program we uploaded, is that her? I don't know, probably. We uploaded her mind. It's still her, even in a computer. Hmm. Well, Bagley's a person, right? We treat him like one. Technically, an AI may not be human, but it's pretty damn close. Yeah, you make a good point. Well, either way, we help people. Whether they're flesh and blood people or computer people, right? Deadsec, I got a call about a possible kidnapping. I'll send you the caller's info. Sounded like it was connected to something big. We have a real chance to seek justice here. All right, we look into it. Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new microdrone, something my contact told me about. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To bypass Titus security? Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot will have a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. I hear you are looking for dead sack. Are you really dead sack? Maybe I can pass message. Oh, good. So my friend and I, we've been working with this activist. Brilliant. Hitting the powers that be where it hurts. But now she's changed. She wants to out and out murder people. What do you mean? This activist, she's holding my friend captive. Please stop her and save my friend before. We'll see what we can do about this. I'll pass along the message. Have you found anything, Begley? Yes, it checks out. SMS history corroborates what they told us, and I've been able to trace the location of that last text message to its sender. Let's check it out. Pushing the coordinates now. Fuck, these Albion's wasting the arc. 
the fuck you doing? Made it. Now, let's get to work. Let your cameras get a picture of this. is in here. Let's get her out. <laughs> no need to be a dick about it. Uh. <laughs> You've got one last chance to back down.
Good. Moving on. Get her out. Seems like you got away. She's had those maniacs stuff a bomb in a vehicle. Fuck! No one was supposed to get hurt. Royal Courts of Justice, please stop her. Shit. She couldn't have picked a busier target. If those bombs go off, she'll kill who knows how many innocents. Dead.
Remember, you're looking for a van stuffed with explosives and are probably as stale as a one-legged mule in an abusive relationship. So if you get into a firefight, try to steer around the bullets. That's the gist of it, Bagley. I should probably mention that the bomb is armed and currently ticking down to detonation. So I would hurry up, unless you're curious about what it'd be like to become an oily pink mist. I've spotted the vehicle. It's surrounded by people. We need to deal with this delicately. I have the vehicle. Now what? Oh, I don't really care what you do with it. If you wanted to avoid casualties, you could drop it in the river, I suppose. Up to you. I mean, sure. It's definitely made things a lot easier. It's so simple to call someone now. All you have to do is choose who you want to chat to, and they're there, ready to talk. And browsing the web is so much easier. I remember when you used to have to sit down at a computer with an actual keyboard and mouse and type everything out. And my favourite feature is public transport. With the Optic, you can just walk straight onto the tube. It even acts as a passport. No longer do I have to dig around and try and find my old paper passport just to travel somewhere. Also, I thought that Optic's marketing strategy, making it free for people, was a stroke of genius. Genius. Bloom was really calculated when it was doing that. It was pushing this draconian device on us. We did it. That's a job well done. Well, I wouldn't crow about it just yet. Her group won't pack it in after one failed attack. They'll be back. Activated. Don't get killed. Right. Calm and focused. Security will respond to any unlawful attack. You fascist! 
I see the vehicle. I'll try to defuse it without setting the bloody thing off. It's on the move. Now that I know what kind of bomb we're dealing with, I can defuse it remotely. All you have to do is stay close enough to it that you'll be reduced to savory jam if it goes off. Any questions at this stage? Copy that. The vehicle's gone! And they're out of view of my network of unsecured cameras. I'm afraid the only way we're going to find its location now is to check the evening news. Oh. Mark my words. We'll hear from these terrorists again. Sure, everybody flocked to it. That was free. Bad news, DeadSec. I've heard from my informant that our favorite bomber, Enid Grimwood, is back, and she's loaded another vehicle with explosives. Fucking hell. Hopefully the vehicle can provide some clue to her whereabouts. Anyway, uploading the coordinates now. Good luck. off last time so they might be expecting you at least be ready for them to fuck off again just remain within range of the vehicle and leave the diffusing to me thank you sir Target Grimwood. What intel do we have, Bagley? Would you believe that Enid's entire schedule was left on the vehicle's onboard computer? I guess syncing your playlists has drawbacks if you're on the lam. Word of warning. You've got more than a terrorist leader to worry about. There are several armed explosives on the site. I'm pushing her current location to you now. This is the building site Enid Grimwood is running her terrorist activities out of. Time to work, Operative. Bombs or Enid, take your pick. efficient.
Another place. Longer you wait, worse this will be. There's nothing here. Moving on. Nothing here. Continuing search. Cross the foot. destroyed in a safe, if not terribly spectacular way. destroyed, bomb lane psychopath out of commission. I think we can put a line through this one. Dead sec. I hereby declare the Enid Grimwood case closed. Well done. Cheers. It's really rather frustrating. The only way anything gets done anymore is if people go out there and bypass the system entirely. 
I'll be as happy as anyone when Albion and the like are off the streets. But things won't be back to normal until the rule of law is restored. 